Howdy, welcome to Chem 130 Fundamental Chemistry. I'm your instructor, a bit frazzled this morning, uh, Mike McFavlin. You can reference me as just Mike. Um, no need for whatever the extra fancy names are. Uh, I do apologize for getting this up a little bit late, but uh, unfortunately we had to kind of prioritize getting materials out to the other instructors first. Uh, so with that said, let's do a quick walkthrough of our Canvas course. So we'll shrink this back down. What you should be able to see within your Canvas course is something that looks along these lines. Uh, week zero has a bunch of kind of general information stuff that I think will be useful for you. So you need to go through and read through that. There are some assignments in there. There's a syllabus contract, which is a requirement. If you don't do that this first week, you will get withdrawn from the course. Uh, there's an office hours poll because this is an asynchronous environment. I want to schedule office hours that best reflect the majority of students' uh, abilities to get help. Okay? Uh, and within that, what we'll probably also do is set up tutoring um, with a tutor, uh, Chandler Gilbert tutor, to help along those lines as well. And there's also this one-on-one -on -one meeting with Mike. When you go through and look at that particular assignment, it'll take you out to a Google Sheet that is my schedule for the entire semester. And you will need to take a look at that schedule, find a time slot that fits you, that hasn't already been blacked out by somebody else, uh, and go ahead and send me an email uh, with the time that you selected so that that way I can send you an invite so we can have that one-on-one -on -one meeting. After that, um, it's just kind of general rules about the assignments okay, and things that are going along with it. Uh, one of the things that you may note is that it does say complete all items and it shows a little bubble here. That isn't strictly a requirement. It's really there so that you can track what items you've looked at or not. So to give you an idea, idea we'll go ahead and take a look at the one-on-one -on -one meeting with Mike. Like I said, here's our Google Doc. Uh, I honestly don't know if it'll open correctly this, hey, it looks like it did. Uh, so within this sheets format, uh, what we have is all of our weeks. So if we go through and take a look, you'll see this gray area because this is midnight to five in the morning. I'd like to be sleeping then, but if that's the time that works best for you, I'll manage it. Um, same deal with these other kind of gray areas, they're kind of issues. The blackouts are because I cannot meet during that time. So in that time frame, I'm trying to drop off my son at daycare, so I just I can't be there for an office hour. Uh, come on with the scrolling. And then there's another big blackout at the end of the day. That's when I'm picking up my son and then going through dinner and bedtime routines. Okay. You will notice that there are some blackouts already on this, and that's because students have started to select times. These are every 15-minute slots. This one-on-one -on -one engagement, minimum 5 minutes, maximum 15. At 15 minutes, I'm cutting you off. We're done talking um, because this is a massive time commitment to be able to go through and do this. Uh, and if I'm going to get anything remotely done in the first couple weeks, I, I'm going to need to cut those short at 15 minutes. I will also try and schedule some office hours quickly for the first week. Um, so if you happen to randomly pop in and you can get that one-on-one -on -one time, then I'll count it uh, for your engagement for the course. Which kind of gets us to the next point. So let's double back out to our modules because what we will hopefully see here when it loads is you notice the little green check mark next to the one-on-one -on -one meeting. Okay, so then the next thing I want to address here is this engagement thing, because this engagement thing is a, potentially different. It's definitely different for me in the asynchronous environment. You need to be engaged with other students in the classroom and with your instructor, me, or tutors. Uh, so I'm going to give you points for that. These are really simple as long as I have a way to document who was there, when you were there, uh, every week I'll give you max points for it, okay? So perhaps the easiest way to document would be Piazza, which is gonna be our discussion board. There are ways to sign into Piazza and we'll see that pop up in a second. 
Uh, and then you can meet virtually with me during office hours or scheduled appointments. You can meet with our tutor uh, and he'll relay back to me. And so that way we've got uh, accountability there. Uh, if you contribute to a Google Doc for practice exams, because I do have those uh, or will have those floating for each practice exam, uh, it gets posted anonymously. So you do have to tell me that it was you and I'll give you points for that as well. And then if you do student interactive work also, I'm all the more happy to give you points for that uh, because that's really useful. However, that is a lot harder for me to track, so you do need to invite me into that conversation. Okay? If you got other ideas, let me know, and I'm more than happy to try and get you those points to prove that you're engaging with the rest of the course, okay? both students within it and, say, with me. Okay? So that's our kind of week zero in, uh, introductions. Week zero means last week. Okay? We didn't even really start. Okay? So pretty much right out of the gate, we're going to start right in with unit one. Okay? So unit one, our modules are organized based off of units, and they're roughly every four weeks. So unit one is posted. I'm working on getting unit two, three, and four up. Okay? So everything that you need for unit one, these first four weeks, is posted here. Okay? And you'll note that we do have the little tracking on the right hand side saying that you've completed or you've viewed it. So that way you know. Uh, the unit one first page gives you a little bit of background information and organization behind it so you know what's going on with it. We get the Chem 101 startup again so you're aware of it. We've got the lecture slides, all in Google lecture slides, and then YouTube links out to the individual lectures. Okay? Uh, remember, as soon as you view this, it says you've done it. Okay? You're not getting points for that. So the whole point of the saying you've done it is so that you know that you've done it. So please don't click these links unless you're willing to devote the time put in that parentheses. So for that very first lecture, it's 38 minutes. You need 38 minutes that you can sit through and watch that. If you want to watch it double speed, that's fine too. In fact, sometimes I talk slow, double speed it. That's fine. All right. um, as we continue through, you'll see lectures. We see the Chem 101 homework. All right. So all the Chem 101 homework assignments should link out to this system and you'll see the homeworks listed in the document. You would go through, select that, answer the questions by the deadline uh, for the assignment. Okay, the Chem 101 is every odd week you'll have uh, a homework due. Every even week you will have a paper homework due. So that paper homework, there's directions for that also within the assignment. So take a look at that. Okay, and then another thing with the lectures, some of them you'll see this lecture four and PP. PP is for play pause it, right, which allows me to push out the lecture video and embed quiz questions in it. So instead of it being 38 minutes where you may go in and out and just completely lose consciousness of what's happening, uh, those quiz questions are designed to help keep you on task and keep you in absorbed in the content. Okay, whoops, didn't want that one yet. Um, yeah, and I, I think that covers kind of the base. Well, the week one engagement, when you go out and do that, you will see access to PlayPosit, and so you'll be prompted to sign into PlayPosit. So you'll have to create your account and all that kind of fun stuff. It'll look something like this. Uh, and what you can do is post. Okay, so if we click new post, there will be some folders here. You are required to select a folder. If it's just week one, just general notes, or, hey, I just wanted to post something, throw it into that. If you had a question about a particular homework, throw that in that homework section so that if somebody else has questions on the same assignment, they can track back and see if there were answers posted about that. It'll kind of help that process. So that's the hope behind PlayPosit is it'll organize how we communicate uh, in this asynchronous system. Okay. I think that covers the majority of the tabs. Uh, we will scroll down to this exam one. It does say it's an assignment. 
this is really just a placeholder for the points. The actual exam one uh, will get put in there a little bit later in the semester. Uh, and it will follow the format of the quiz practice. So this quiz practice gives you some instructions. Uh, your actual exam would be timed, but since this is practice, if we click through and did begin, it'll load the assignment. Of course, it's going to have problems because we're recording right now, right? That makes sense. So let's see if we can refresh that and get it to pop back up. Um, it will give you exposure to each of the individual types of questions that you could potentially see in the exam and give you the opportunity to practice it so that you get comfortable with that process so that you aren't freaking out about entering things in the exam. Uh, you're freaking out about the content of the exam. That's the hope. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's going to load any time. There we go. Okay, so we get some kind of essay questions where it's useful to upload an image. Okay, so there's directions for that in unit zero. Um, you can do it from your phone as well. We've got short answer questions, matching questions. Okay? This would be known as a stimulus. The stimulus directs you to answer these two questions based on that stimulus box. Okay? So that's kind of the point of this assignment okay? or this thing. Note here your answer choices change because it's a, multi, it's a multiple choice, not, or multiple response, not a multiple choice. Right? So I want you to play around with that so you're comfortable with that process. Right? When we double back out, the last thing, which was probably the first thing I should have told you about, would have been our syllabus. The syllabus is found in concourse syllabus. It looks something along these lines, except embedded in Canvas. You need to read this. Okay, this has all of the information that you need for the individual course, breakdowns on where points uh, segregate out, grades, all that kind of fun stuff, required elements. Um, so it is super important. And I just noticed I'm gonna have to make an edit here to the third party tools. Okay, so make sure you read through it and you understand it. If you've got questions, send me an email or reserve them for that one-on-one -on -one engagement. Okay, with me. Uh, with that, I appreciate that you have decided to take the course with me, and hopefully you're still taking the course with me, uh, and we'll talk in the coming week. Okay, thank you for listening.